Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley. This is part of a crash course on Framer, a tool for designing and prototyping projects. On this video, we're going to learn how to use the page component. With the page component, piecing together multiple static screens into a single interactive prototype is super easy. Let's get started. The page component allows you to easily swipe between layers in any direction. It's based on the scroll component. With this component, piecing together multiple static screens into an interactive prototype is super easy. Let's use a simple page component to go through different photos of Kanye West. So here, as you can see, I have three different artboards and three different photos of Kanye. All I have to do is add targets to these photos to start adding the page component. So here, I added to a target to this photo called Kanye 1. This one is Kanye 2, Kanye 3, and I already added the target. So I'm ready to start coding. So the first thing that I need to do is create a page component. So I'm going to call this page. It's going to be equals new page component. There you go. I just created a new page component. And now I need to say, what are going to be the pages of this page component? So I'm going to say that page, I'm going to add a page. And then the first page is going to be Kanye 1. Let's add another one. Add page, Let's say Kanye 2. And then the third one is going to be page, add page, Kanye 3. So here I have my page component and I can go through the photos. But right now, it's looking a little bit weird. Right now, I'm able to drag also vertically. And it's also situated here on the top left. And that's not exactly what I want. So what I can do is go back here to the, my page component and start editing the properties. I can edit the properties here with auto code, but right now I'm going to do it with just code. So I'm going to say that the width of this is going to be 375, which is the width of the phone. I'm going to say that the height is probably around 420, let's say. And let's say that the X aligns to the center. The same with the Y. Y aligns with the center. And I'm also going to, I'm going to limit the scrolling only to horizontal. So I'm going to say that the scroll vertical, and I'm going to say false. There you go. So now let's test it. And that's it. Now I'm able to have my component center on the screen and I'm able to only drag horizontally. If I were to remove this, let's see what happens. See, now I can drag vertically too. So that's not exactly what I want. So let's come in and see, and let's see it again. Pretty cool. Kind of is looking happy too.